Where the hell did trail racks come from? It's like these guys appeared out of the ether and now every Bronco owner and Wrangler owner knows who they are. When I first met Adam, the founder, he operated out of a shared office on the University of Utah campus, and now he has a warehouse full of innovative products and an entire staff to help keep your adventure rolling. So what's the story? Well, it starts with the pack racks. I stumbled upon the pack racks right before I got my Jeep JL Cool Rick circa 2019. I was selling my Toyota Tacoma that had a bed rack to buy a Wrangler that didn't have a bed rack. And I knew I had to get creative with the pack racks and that I could use them as kind of a quasi bed rack type solution for the Wrangler. Plus, it helped that I didn't have to drill into the hardtop to make it work. The pack racks quickly became an essential part of my build. I used mine to carry my ax and shovel combo and then the water port on the other side, which is a bit tricky. And if I were to do it again today, I would probably use the new rinse kit that just came out. But that's a video for another day. And if you're interested in learning more about the pack racks, I have plenty of videos here on the channel. This one up here will go into more detail for you. But suffice it to say, I love the pack racks. Taking advantage of that dead space on the Wrangler makes so much sense. Enter the Ford Bronco. When Ford told me I was getting a two-door Bronco as part of their Team Bronco Ambassador program, I knew I would need pack racks. But with no gutter on the hard top of the Bronco, it meant the design team at Trail Racks would have to get very creative. Initially, Trail Racks had me test like a triangle truss design that integrated with the Ford factory roof rack. And it's the setup I had on the Bronco when I attempted to visit all five of Utah's national parks. It kind of worked, but I didn't really trust it. The fuel can would bounce against the glass on the hard top. And honestly, it didn't feel like the right solution to get the job done. But the good news is that while I was away on that trip, the Trail Racks design team was well ahead of me and they developed what I have to say is the best aluminum modular roof rack on the market. The Trail Racks modular roof rack or Tremor Rack, T-R-M-R, -R, integrates the pack racks into the roof rack structure, giving us an even stronger system than the Wrangler and you still don't have to drill. The Trail Racks Tremor Rack features a 90 degree bend on the side rails to help span the gap needed to remove the Bronco's front hardtop sections. This design floats the platform of aluminum extrusions and gives a pass-through to remove the panels without needing to remove the entire roof rack. Genius. I can't think of a better roof rack available for the Bronco. And as a complete system, the roof rack combined with the pack racks sets this apart from everything on the market. From the outside looking in, I knew it would be quickly imitated. Fortunately, Trail Racks holds a patent on the pack racks and no other roof rack manufacturer has been able to produce a window storage system that has the same strength as the pack racks on the Bronco. The Bronco Tremor Rack was a catapult for Trail Racks. It opened the door for developing accessories like grab handles, awning brackets, shovel and ax mounts of their own, the trail side accessory mount, and now more roof racks. Which brings me to this. I can't think of a day in the last four months that I haven't been asked about my roof rack. I am so happy to finally tell you that the Trail Racks Tremor Rack for the Jeep Gladiator is now available, like with the launch of this video. I have been fortunate enough to run a prototype of this roof rack and provide real world feedback on my experience to help the Trail Racks team bring us Gladiator owners the best roof rack possible. My roof rack is intentionally short. The Gladiator Tremor Rack is two roof racks in one, a front and a rear. If your setup resembles mine with a camper or a rooftop tent that hangs over the cab, you can save some dough and purchase the rack's front half. There is no need to buy the full roof rack and pull out a skill saw and start cutting the thing in half. The rack leaves a gap of six inches with my GoFast camper. I can't speak for the other campers just yet, but the rack falls almost exactly in line with the Freedom Panel line, so as long as your camper or tent doesn't extend past that, you should be good to run this thing. Like the Bronco rack, the Gladiator rack is made of 5051 3 16 inch aluminum and features the same 90 degree bend to strengthen the side rails. The wind deflector on the front matches the angle of the windshield perfectly and isn't just some arbitrary design cue. The Gladiator Tremor rack has the option for a 40 inch cutout light bar or straight across like mine. Now, it is always wise not to overload a roof rack, but I am very impressed that Trail Rack shares a static load rating of 600 pounds and a dynamic load rating of 300 pounds on the Gladiator roof rack. 
all of those ratings are possible because this roof rack isn't just a gutter mount roof rack. It features load distribution feet on top of the roof to help carry the load before stressing the tiny gutters. That said, I don't think the numbers are the same for the half rack. Those aren't specified on their website, so I would say chop those ratings in half and you're probably in the ballpark. If you opt for the full rack, it is modular, so you can remove the freedom panels and still run the rear portion of the roof rack without needing to remove the entire roof rack. Or if you eventually add a camper or rooftop tent that resembles my system and hangs over the cab, well, you can remove the rear portion of the rack and just run the front. The front and rear sections are secured with a spanner plate that keeps the rack solid, so no need to worry about the roof rack feeling unstable when using the complete system together. This really is the best roof rack for the Gladiator, especially if you're a camper owner or if your rooftop tent hangs over the cab. Seeing my friends at Trail Racks break into this roof rack market and bring innovation to what has felt like a stale market of copycats and replicas is exciting. And they aren't stopping at the Bronco or the Jeep. Tacoma owners can now take advantage of the Tremor Rack. I have installed enough roof racks on Tacomas to tell you that the modular feet design of the new Trail Racks Tacoma roof rack will save you a lot of headache while trying to install. There is a lot to love about Trail Racks, but I especially love to see that they are a self-made company. They're pulling themselves up by their bootstraps. They started with a unique idea and have grown to give us some of the best overland vehicle storage options available. If you haven't yet, go check out their website. I have linked a few of my favorite goodies of theirs in the video description. Best of luck, happy trails, and as my friends at Trail Racks would say, don't cut your adventure short. So that does it for me. If you liked the video, please like the video. If you have a question, leave me a comment. And if you wanna hang out again, well, make sure to subscribe. Until next time. I'm Justin B. McBride. Hey, do you want to learn more about my Gladiator setup and how I created pack racks from trail racks parts to work on my go fast camper? I go into more detail in this video right here. I'll see you over there. And if not, sign up for my Patreon. Let's chat.